Hey guys, another episode. This one I'm a little hesitant about. It could get me into a little bit of trouble. But I'll try to navigate around this. I've been credited by some of my readers as uh, writing strong female characters that they like to follow, that don't fall into the various tropes. And sometimes I've actually been asked, like, how do you do that? And my response is that, well, I'm not writing female characters, I'm writing characters. Um, it's not... The type of writing that I do doesn't tend to fall into the uh, gender split. Okay, If your character is the captain of a starship, he or she is going to be the captain of a starship. The traits that we associate with being a captain, with those sorts of responsibilities, have effectively nothing to do with gender. As a society, we've assigned it to the male gender because, historically speaking, all of the, uh, you know, the captains of note that we think of throughout history were men, for the most part, a couple good exceptions. Uh, but just because we have associated those traits with masculinity doesn't mean they have anything to do with masculinity. Somebody who chooses to be the captain of a starship is going to act like the captain of a starship. You know, if you choose to be a soldier, you're going to act like a soldier. Doesn't matter what you were born with, you go, you're going to have to act the way other soldiers act. And many jobs just, they, they, they define how you act more than almost anything else. Now, this may not always apply. Depending on the type of stories you're doing, masculinity or femininity could become extremely important. Uh, so do keep that in mind with your writing. But don't feel the need to inject feminine or masculine traits into a character uh, just because. If you're going to put the, if you're going to put, put, put a focus on that, it should be because it should be for story reason. Because by and large, people are people, and it doesn't matter how you're born. Uh, when you choose to do a job, you do the job. You know, if you're writing a competent character, anyway. There are lots of people in the real world, and potentially in your books, who may be leveraging their masculinity or their femininity in some way to get through, uh, but that's not how most people do things. And if that's a plot point for you, okay, you can go there. But don't make the assumption that everybody does that. Uh, you know, whatever you choose to do is going to define uh, your actions far more than what gender you were born. All right, hopefully I didn't get myself in too much trouble with that. And uh, keep writing. Hope everybody's okay, and I'll uh, see you next time.